Hi everyone, my name is Ms. Hu and I'm a physics teacher. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the experiment for a lens. For this experiment, of course, we're going to need a ray box with a light bulb connected to a power supply unit. Of course, we're going to need a lens. In this case, we're going to be using a biconvex lens. We'll need a lens holder to hold the lens, of course. The object, which in this case is a cardboard with a triangular hole and a wire cross. The screen to project the image on. And of course, a meter rule to measure the distance. So to do the experiment, what we're going to do is we're going to use the meter rule as our reference. I'm going to place it on the table this way. And we're going to line up the cardboard cutout, which is our object, the lens in the lens holder, and the screen, which is where the image will be, along the meter rule. So remember that we're going to use the lens as our, our reference point. The purpose of this meter rule is to enable us to measure the object distance and the image distance easily. So my suggestion is we find one reference point on the meter rule to make it easy for us to take the measurement. So I'm going to take the 50cm mark as uh, the main reference point and I'm going to line up the center of the lens with the 50cm mark. Remember that you always measure object distance and image distance from the center of the lens. Now why I'm placing this at the 50cm mark is because that way when I want to take the measurements it's a lot easier. So for example if I need to set the object distance at 30 centimeters from the 50cm mark I just need to look for the 20cm mark and place this object at the 20cm mark. The measurement should be taken from the surface of the cardboard to the center of the lens. Then when I conduct the experiment, I just need to find the image position. So let's say for example it's over here, then to measure the image distance, I just need to measure it from the surface of the screen to the center of the lens. Now this experiment should be conducted in a dark room, otherwise we can't see the image clearly. Let's show you for a little bit. So the ray box needs to be placed behind the object so that the light can shine through the triangular cutout through the lens and be projected onto the screen. Normally, we will need to elevate the ray box so that the light can shine through the hole. If it's placed on the table, the light may not be able to get to the hole. If you find that this is too high, you can of course use other things like books, blocks, just to get the level to be correct. Now, as you can see, because the room is really bright, the light from the ray box is not very visible. So even if an image was to be formed on the screen, it's actually not very clear. So right now, we're actually projecting an image onto the screen, but you can't really see it because the room is too bright. So what we're going to do now is we're going to switch off the lights in the room so that we can see the results more clearly. So now we're going to take a look at the image on the screen. Because the room is really dark now, you can see the image front on the screen much more clearly. Now for this experiment, the object distance is the manipulated variable. So we're going to set the values of the object distance and we need to find out the image distance. The image distance is the responding variable. Now here's the tricky thing about this experiment. If you observe the screen, you'll find that no matter where you place the screen, an image will always be formed. So then the question becomes, where do we place the screen to measure the image distance if you're going to get an image all the time. So here's the thing, once you've already set the object distance, you need to find a position where the image is the clearest and the sharpest because no matter where you place the screen, yes, you can get an image, but you find sometimes it's blur and sometimes it's not so blur. So find the position of the screen which gives you the clearest and sharpest image. So if we take a closer look at the screen, as you can see, that you get an image no matter where you place the screen. But you can see that often it's very blur, and as we get closer, it appears to get sharper and sharper. And sometimes you can barely see the image. So find a position that gives you the sharpest and clearest image. The challenge for a lot of students is trying to find the position that gives us the sharpest, clearest image. 
So my recommendation is start from a really blur position and move the screen until you find that point to be sharp and that's where you stop because it's very misleading. Sometimes as you get closer, it appears to be sharper, but it's really not. It's just that because the image has gotten so much smaller, it gives that appearance or the illusion of being sharp. And it may not be sharp at that point. It's just that because it's smaller, you can't see how blurred it is. So again, start from a really blur position that's a little bit further and move the screen closer until that point where you find, oh, that's where it has become sharp. That would be the image position and you measure the image distance based on that position. For the full experiment procedure of this experiment, check out the link in the description below. So I hope you found this video to be educational and helpful. Don't forget to click like and remember to subscribe to get more updates on when lab videos like these will be released. Thanks for watching!